Masu Shell, but you're seeing more of a neutral base team versus like a just in your face team with Yamcha. Going up against Kite, and again, like Kite's been putting on work, Chen Pan trying to put up tech with Gohan uh, 21. So let's Fair see enough. how it goes. Um, yeah, wait, whoa. Yeah, what? Kite uh, Kite pulled out the, uh, the Kid Goku, his two hour old Kid Goku. Quote himself from the set we just played. I am so uh, like my kid Goku. Goku is two hours old. I mean, kid and Goku, I know one I, combo. I mean, GT Goku is arguably the best in the game. So yeah, arguably, um, because the level three Oki is kind of like it kind of breaks the game in that sense, right? And then plus, like he's really small, and you just have his assist is good. Just opening up with that uh, that call out on the aerial jump. Yeah. Also, that Rasengan ball, um, as a lot of people call it, is actually only negative five. So it's actually unpunishable in a lot of situations. Wow. So, so now you're seeing just that pressure being started to see already. Just applying that pressure with, uh, man. Drops the combo. I think he's not, again, I think, kind of go back to your point before. He's not used to that, those combos. Wait a minute. Is he? No way. No way. I do agree with that. I mean, I, I disagree with burning the spark, but I agree with getting the damage on Goku. Yeah, like, honestly, especially because, like, Goku at this point is just, like, he's just so much of a threat in, like, in a lot of situations. If you yeah. can burn resources to take him out, like, I don't know. I feel like that's just, just kind of a good choice. Yeah. I think he, he definitely brings a lot to a team. I mean, you saw that this past weekend at Combo Breaker, right? Yeah. Like, you saw, like, a lot of people go to Goku over Yamcha in this patch, and, like, recently because of the fact that his op both options are very strong, um, but one has that full screen assist that you just, ooh, DR. I mean, beam assists have always been really pretty solid since even the beginning of the game, but, yeah. like, ever since the, the rebuff to, uh, to Goku's assists, like, yeah. it just kind of... Gave him that extra little edge where before he was kind of like that like higher mid tierish kind of character where right. like yeah but like a lot of other characters had similar beam assists and better combo potential but now since his da damage has been a little bit fixed and his beam assist is still just as solid it kind of pushed him up a little bit over those characters who got nerfed. Yeah. And this is I feel like his kite's ob like arguably best character um, next to twenty one I think Gohan is is one of his strong suits. Yeah, I would say like honestly, the pressure he kind of puts on with this character is—it's uh, very—it's very hard at times, and it kind of like it, it, it strains you. It's like Marvel Three Days with Zero. It's like you lose your mind for like ten minutes, and you're yeah. like, "How did I get hit?" But it's exactly what you want to see from a character like Gohan. Like that's that kind of play, that kind of pressure on top of everything. Like that's what makes the character fun to watch. I agree. I, I would definitely say. agree. But nice level three by Gok, getting Bardock out, forcing potential spark. No. 2M. Um, I think he pressed the button. He must have. Or he tried to block high, assuming he was going to try and go for a mid. Yeah. You have a lot of different options. You know, as, as much as we say Goku doesn't have mix, this character has mix in some in some points. Try to jab the super dash there. Gok's really good at that. Good challenge. Now, here's the question. If Kite does lose this game, does he go to uh, 21? Oh, 100%. There's no way he doesn't oh, what? he doesn't switch back to his main uh, <laughs> team just to make sure that he uh, secures his spot. Drop in the back. Miss times the drip combo. I think in that situation, just go for the easiest thing you have. You could have killed Goku. I know because we all think like go like doing like cool combos. First time we see Super Saiyan for it. Great value smash. Oh, ah, so good. <laughs> he's dead. Great. No, he's not dead off that. But he had the Oki set up now. Super dash. Puts out the assist instead, but unfortunately that means he's uh his Goku's gonna be a little bit stranded. Yeah, six M. Yeah, I'm I'm not really a fan of uh forcing that uh that like Goku stranded scenario. I feel like you should have held on to an assist for maybe like a like a kinda hard read on like a an option and then hard tag in instead. Maybe try and save a little bit of energy here. And there. But now you're seeing Gok kinda on the back foot. Like before like he had those situations like in his favorite nice block. Yeah, but if you're gonna be on the back foot with a character at this point, like Bardock's not a terrible character to be on be the on back, back foot with, with, like especially like right there. Like he was on the back foot for a bit, got a little bit of pressure going, and now he's got a he's nice dead. little uh, one three. Mm, what? Kill? Yeah. I was gonna say I'm not I'm not really familiar with how good uh, Zamasa's damage is on his uh, on his supers. So. so for the most part, right? Like if you see like a health bar like going past sparking line, you can kind of know that a character's gonna die based on how much meter you use. So it was really good awareness. 
by Gok in that situation. Nice. Oh, that was so good. Using the spark to then uh, jump out and bait the rear spots. But such a good reaction out of Gok. Uh, I think he can kill here. Yeah, is that, yeah. that's a real... You know, Gok's, Gok's not seen top three in a, long, in a while. Actually, not ever here at GBS. Um, when it comes to our bigger brackets. This might be his time to pull it around. Definitely, I agree. Um, and then Kite, kind of maybe going back to Karis, like probably going to go to that 21 pick that we were talking about before. He's got it. Like, I mean, if you're down in the hole in a best stuff. of three set, like there's no reason why you don't it's go to your stuff. best team. It's his stuff. Yeah. Like, like we use weeklies to like try stuff out, but I think it's a matter of, you know, when it comes to tournament mode, I feel like you should have those tournament setting stuff. So like, your tournament combos, your tournament team, you know, having those like guaranteed comp, like guaranteed things that you know are going to work. But at the same time, I do really respect the fact that Yes, this is a tournament, but it's a weekly. That's true. Like, this is the well, time uh, that if you want to try something different, this is where you pull it out. Yeah, I agree. But at the same time, if you want to try and f make sure you can s continue to stay consistent, you will need to pull out those options every now and again. I agree. So as much as he wants to try the kick Goku, I respect the fact that he's like, okay, the set is on the line. I need to I need to go back to try to true bread and butter. And I think, too, like we haven't seen Kite and Losers this potentially this early. So this will be an upset for sure. Um, Kite been really consistent. He's been in top three um, for a while now here at GBS. So. Oh, nice and cross, the cross up, which should, should hopefully push him to the corner. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and they get to the mix up in the corner. So oh, he still gets the combo out of so that. So in those kinds of situations, depending on how much space you give Gohan, you can take full advantage and actually do a mix-up off that. Likewise, too, you can do elbow and manipulate what side you're on. So you can do a meaty elbow or with elbow, and that puts him out of the corner. But nice punish on a 2H. Yeah. 2H is the assist, but uh, it doesn't really matter much when... Yeah. Uh, you push back in the corner. See, I like. Oh no, he had it. He had it. Got, got the hit. Still had another chance to block. Yeah. Still didn't block it. I think now you're kind of seeing Kai being like, "Listen, like, I, what are you making? I don't even know what that is. It doesn't matter. It's, I like it. Apparently, it's delicious. It's usually disgusting. Mm. Usually, just like wipes it away. Like, no, this is gross. I don't want yeah. it. Well, I mean, she finished her plate for once, <laughs> and now uh, Kai very, very strong lead. However. You know, level three spark on Goku is not is nothing to sneeze at. at this 100, point. I agree. Oh, nice. I like. Oh, I'm liking these combos. Oh, and I like the reset for the pressure, just to kind of keep him in the corner instead of trying to risk anything. And this is a definitely oh, a tough. Oh, the move. that projectile option there was so good. Yeah. That was oh, so, what a oh, the trade two M's, but unfortunately, uh, 21 just does not have a quick enough option to be able to keep up with Goku yeah. on her face. See, I'm kind of, I do respect him not using um, meter there, but at the same time, you want to have the most damage on the board because then you can force those situations. That's that's not good. He could have punished. So now you're just kind of seeing Kite just playing his game now, realizing that now he is down a game like you mentioned before. Nice. Oh, very nice setup into the grab. Yeah. Uh, he's got five meters. He should be able to. Um, will that kill? What you making? A macaroon? Yeah, that's a macaroon. He's dead. Delicious. So what do you mm, think Gok should... So I think Gok should take a minute, realize what happened. Take a I, I think the worst thing Gok could do right now is go right back into Character the game. Select. Character select. Character select. There we go. So what do you think Gok should do um, to adjust now or to readjust to Kite's play? Uh, well, honestly, the one issue I really saw in that situation is there was a lot of times where he was really getting pressured on and a lot of situations where... Uh, Kite was understanding that Gok wasn't really ever even attempting to reflect anything, right? Like at all. So Gok, so Kite was like, "I'm just gonna stay on top of you with whatever I want because you're not gonna do anything about it." Right. So I think in some of these defensive situations, he should try to mix in a reflect here or there, kind of maybe test the water a little bit with it, just because you don't want to do it too often. Because obviously, then Kite's just gonna start adjusting to the fact that right. you're spamming. Um, the one thing he did adjust to is actually putting Bardock on point and giving um, Zama, uh, making that Zamasu assist be prominent now. Oh, that's so much better especially considering how aggressive Kite tends to play in the early game. 100%. Um, you don't want some moss on the back foot of any no, of any character. I don't think he, like, personally, I don't see any really good options to get out of that pressure. And like that. Yeah, and he just catches him out. Yeah. I think one thing, too, I think Bardock versus Gona has, as the game has been progressing, right, I feel like it's been more of a 5-5 five, five Oh, and he catches him again. He catches him again, but only two meters, so it's not going to finish. But it is going to be a juicy amount of damage. I would just... 
Oh. I, I agree with keeping Bardock in there. Good reflect. There we go. That, that, that's what you need to do. Like yeah, and then that pushes the 21 back enough, and uh, he knows that Kite's not going to be able to put that like up-close pressure on him so he can kind of work his way out of that corner. Nice tack. Oh, good tack on the grab. Going to reset a little bit. Now they're back basically in center stage, and I honestly think Bardock does a little bit better here than 21. Well, he tried to go for the he tried to go for the actual like full like optimal confirmation to the IAD medium. I mean, I understand that. Like, if you got the chance, you might as well take it. Like, you gotta yeah. practice it. But a happy birthday. Oh. This is not good. And this is gonna be. Oh yeah, this that juicy damage. But uh, I think he was just snap here. Yeah, he's gonna snap. Yeah, of course you snap in there. You don't want to make sure. You gotta snap in, otherwise the Moss is gonna get all that blue health back. Agreed. And, and this should be a dead Zamas. He's got six meter. Like, he only needs to burn like what two? Yeah. yeah. I think Go I think I think Bardock uh, Goku's a better shell in this situation versus uh, Zamasu Goku. So I think by no means Gok is out of this. Oh yeah, no, like he, he just needs a couple good hits and he can pull this back. But yeah. unfortunately, just getting called out with that Gohan. And now that the fact that that Gohan is at level one, it's going to cause a lot of issue for Gok if he can't really. Uh, he's got to be careful with his defensive options in this situation. Ooh. Wow, going so hard that it slows the game. Yeah, I think <laughs> that too. Um, that yeah, so that actually you can't see the jab, so that's actually a mix-up. Because yeah. then you can oh, go low and stuff That's like going to that. be a kill, and we're down to a Goku with level, level 3 spark. Level 2 spark. He already burned it for uh, Bardock. Oh, yeah. So so this is, again, kind of the same situation we saw before. But, uh, he again, catches him out. 7 meters. Should be able to scoop this. There we go. Okay. Good. He needs the level 3. Yep. Oh, no. It doesn't. Uh, he should have gone for the the, the, kill? the the dash attack. The I don't know what it's called. I do. But the little like dash thing yeah. where he gets the other hard knockdown yeah. and they go level 3. Yeah. That would have killed. That would have killed. But look at this damage, just off of medium. Max it out. No, yeah, it's a, you could level have level three here. You could, you could have actually did level two with Gohan, and then go on into Goku and uh, twenty one, which I feel like the twenty one mix would have been way more stronger in that situation. Yeah, I mean just for the just for the knockdown mix up, but yeah. it's not really gonna matter. Yeah. Gok, Gok did give it up though. Kite's Gohan pressure that game was so much more solid. He had he finally had those opportunities to really try and open yeah. up. The, uh, his opponent in that situation versus that. the first game where the Gohan kind of got shut down immediately, so he didn't Definitely. really have a chance to start working. But once he had that little bit of breathing room, just enough to kind of yeah. force the situation. Well, I got to go play. Yeah, you do. So, All right, so now we're going to get... Um,